Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my guide covering the basics of flight recovery after losing your anti-torque uh, rear rotor, some like to call it. This is a very simple concept, although learning it can be a little tricky. Um, the concept itself, once you lose your tail rotor, you simply hold S to cycle the helicopter backwards. Your helicopter will start spinning out like this until you gain enough speed and once you gain that speed the helicopter will simply flip and go forwards it's, as you saw there I didn't touch my keyboard during any of that I, all I did was once I had that speed I leveled out my helicopter to keep myself from nose diving into the ground um, and much bigger helicopters such as the ghost talk, blackfoot, that type of stuff you need to start leveling your helicopter out kind of halfway through that last flip your helicopter does because if you don't most of the time you'll not have enough altitude to pull up without crashing um now that's at low altitude like 250 meters or so in a ghost talk which usually leaves you about 25 meters to spare if you pull up about midway through that final flip as far as landing landing again it's very simple once you are holding your collective lower you really don't spin at all if I go ahead and slow down here, you can see I'm not really spinning at all by holding Z. If I hold Shift, though, you will see I spin a lot. So if you want to control your helicopter and keep it still without it spinning out, your best bet is to hold Z. Now, if you want to flip your helicopter around to get that forward momentum, you need to be going fast enough to fly without your anti-torque then you're going to want to hold shift and get enough altitude. In a hummingbird, this is about 200 meters altitude. Ghost talk, about 250. Blackfoot, about 350. And then kind of in between for the other helicopters. I recommend just practicing in the editor to get used to that. But again, as I said, it's very simple. If I go ahead and lose my tail rider here, simply lean the helicopter backwards. I should flip around here. So I'm not touching my keyboard at all. This is doing all this on its own. And I will flip around. And there you go. I now have the forward momentum I need to fly without my tail rotor. And from this point, I can control my altitude and my speed and everything. Um, one thing to note is keep your speed above 100 kilometers an hour. You can go lower, but you will start to notice that you're spinning and losing control of your helicopter, so I highly recommend staying above 100 kilometers an hour. Now, your landings, you can do a very simple landing, straight on, just decreasing your speed and altitude until you get low enough and you just tap Z so you don't hit the ground too hard. And this works, but it leaves more time to lose control of your vehicle. It lose, leaves more time to get shot out, to have the vehicle damaged even more. So, if you're capable, of decreasing your speed and altitude quickly while still landing. I highly recommend you do that, because the faster you can land, the better. So you can see here, and I just did a very basic landing. I was able to land fine. But like I said, faster landings to leave less time for you or your crew to get injured or the vehicle to get damaged more. Another thing to note is during your landings, your helicopter's already damaged beyond the point of being able to effectively fly it in combat. So don't be worried about damaging your engine or your fuel or anything like that in the landing because you're going to need repairs before you're taking it back up in the air again. Um, again, like I said, just kind of brief here, the overall basis of it. Just cycle the helicopter backwards, it'll spin itself around a couple times, and then level out with a speed of usually over 200 kilometers an hour. From there you can control your altitude and your speed and everything. So very simple process. As I said, the heavier the helicopter, the more altitude you need. The Hummingbirds, you can do it at the lowest altitude because it's a very lightweight helicopter with a very strong engine. Something like the Blackfoot, the Blackfoot has a very weak engine and is extremely heavy. So you need much higher altitude in order to be able to pull up without crashing. Um, you can land a Blackfoot, like you can recover from losing your anti-torque and land in a Blackfoot with about 300 meters. I usually do 350 though, just to be safe. I mean, usually when I'm in a Blackfoot, I'm higher than that anyways, depending on the mission I'm doing. So altitude's not that big of an issue for me. 
The mission I'm using to demonstrate this, link is in the description, it's very easy to install, highly recommend it, it's where I learned to recover from anti-torque loss and your um, auto hovering. I learned both those in this mission. It's overall very easy to use, very simple, I highly recommend it. Other than that, that's the basics of landing without a tail rotor and recovery after losing your tail rotor. Um, hope this guide helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, I'll try and help you out with that. And I'll see you guys in the next guide.